So today we are going to be installing some, what are they, six or well, six and a half inch uh, front speakers into Kyle's car, the 98 Lancer once again. Um, hello Liam. Because our, uh, the stock speakers are pretty pathetic to be honest. He's got a sub and some 6x9s in the back. But yeah, there's mad distortion when we turn the fade out the front, so... Get a bit of a preview. I want it, I want it, I want it. I wanted it all from the start. So I'ma just take what I want from you now, but don't take it to heart. I want it, I want it, I want it. Yeah, I know, it's just um, a bit of crackle and distortion when it's up high, so... Hopefully these speakers eliminate that problem. Yeah, no, they're not. They yeah, well, actually, we've got to see if they fit as well. We get Sony explodes. Uh, we're only running them off the head unit, that's why we're not getting anything too fancy. Um, as long as they're better than the stock speakers, we'll pretty much be happy. Awesome. This video should be, yeah, installing it, a how-to. Um, honestly, we haven't done this with front speakers before ourselves, so see what happens on the way. Alright, so the first thing we're going to have to do is take off the door panel, so the screw there, screw there, screw behind the side, screw on there. Lovely. So, Alright, so now that all these screws are out, you just want to like keep your fingers under and it should just pop straight off. Oh, a bit of persuasion. Going a little bit. Oh, yeah. Your power windows will be hooked up, so you always got to make sure to unplug that. You don't want to break shit. Yeah, it just comes straight off. And as you can down. see, my weather seal is doing its job. Did you do that yourself? No, not dodgy home brothers? No. Oh, good on you, Carl. It's just 25 years old or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they are small speakers. No, no, it'll fit in there because that's that plastic out. Alright, so now we have to take out the. So. Alright, and then this should just pull out. Hopefully it pulls straight out. And there should be a wire connecting onto it somewhere. Which turns out is on the inside. I'm gonna have to take this out as well. It's always good to get the outside bracket though, because if you need to modify it to fit the new speakers in, you're gonna need it out anyway. on straight out. Easy stuff. Just need to pinch that and pull it straight off. As easy as that. Yeah, just go straight in the bin. Don't go in the bin. It's always best to keep your stock speakers for when you want to sell your car. You put them back in, take the good speakers with you. Now we're going to say proud that this fits. Yeah. Oh, they're upside down. They're pretty. What the hell? They just split so you do it. Oh, oh they're skinny nice. ones. They're awesome. Right, That'll fit for sure. That's just the cover. I reckon you need to make new holes in that plastic bracket, though. You reckon? Yeah, for sure. But there's a heap of different mounting points. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is... Oh, wait. Does it fit? Oh, no. Yeah, actually, no, it will fit if you do those ones there. These yeah. ones. Perfect. This will fit a treat. Alright, so, first, you might as well just put this back in. My question is... No, wrong way. You need to change the plugs, because that plug will not fit in this plug here. So we need some connectors. Which, luckily, it looks like it actually comes with. It does. How fancy is that? It comes with connectors for us. So. Told you by the fashion, we don't have any crimps for the wires. Good on us. Um, so when we're back to Kyle's place, we'll probably redo this. Kristen. Uh, maybe off camera, not sure. Um, and connect these properly, but for now we're going to do the twist and tape method, which, I mean, it's not that bad. I don't guess. recommend it. Uh, Alright, fuck it. Down dodgy by the start. So we're just going to cut the wires. That's exactly it. 
Now I want to strip the wires. If you have proper wire strippers, it's a lot easier. Do I need more wire than that? Nah, as long as it's enough to tape it, because like, you don't want it coming off. Sweet. Twist them. Because when they're frayed, they are a bitch to work with. Alright. And we want to do the same to the ends on here. So, we're going to do black line to black line because that usually means it's negative, right? Right, black is negative. So we do. Ugh, make sure you're on the right one and twist the hell out of them. Alright, well, so now we've got both, both connections twisted and taped up. Yep. Now we can plug the speaker in. Yeah, try and feed that into the door as much as possible. Oh, there's these clips, so we should be able to clip them around and get them out of the way a little bit. Hopefully. That's, that's the end goal, you know? Old shitty speaker. Alright. New speaker. So on the back there are just two connections. Alright, these connections here will fit straight here. It's pretty obvious because the large one goes to the large one, the small one goes to the small one. I hope, because if it's not like that, Probably blow up. Oh boy, that one just bent. Um, she's tight. It's a bit of persuasion. Alright, so. Yeah. Alright, on. we're good. Hopefully. Test? Yeah. One. It's working. Turn it up. I just want it all in the palm of my hand. I don't really care how. I just want what I came for. I'm coming to kill every rapper I have to Massive improvement. Definitely. Now you would definitely get better quality if you ran off an amp. But, um, first the money to go get a fucking six channel amp. Oh, yeah. Side, we're gonna give it a crack. Riffer off. Straight off. And this store looks a little bit nicer because I haven't actually worked on this side before. Nice. Alright, so now we're just gonna undo the speaker again. But we're only gonna take out the speaker, we're not gonna take out the full one. Plastic mold because we know it fits now. Alright, so we we got all the bolts off now. I'm just gonna pull the speaker out and yep. That's Sweet. it out. Now it's a pretty good neck to be honest. Cut the wires. Which is and twist and tape again, and yeah. we'll come back when we finish that. This is a big job. Now we're just stripping the wires back, getting ready to twist and tape it. It's connected, uh, gonna test and see if this one works now, I guess. Seth again. It's my boy. Good morning kids, thanks for the warm welcome. You too, Mr. Nelson. You look well from a thousand. Really <laughs> no, sweet. Alright, sweet eyes, ready to bolt her in. Alright, so speaker is now installed in the door and ready for the door panel to go on. Oh that is some squishy shit. Yeah, no, no, you oh, literally wow. can't get it off your fingers once you get it on it. Wow, that is weird. I've never played with that before. Alright. Play with a lot of things, don't you, Dill? Just my Dill. Alright, just screwing in the last few bolts for the door panel, and we should be right. Fucking screwdriver through his old speakers. <laughs> the poor bloke who plays his car Whoops. next is, uh, has some pretty shitty left speakers. One, one screw left. Just bad schematics. We got, uh, all the speakers hooked up at the moment. And the quality is definitely better. This is all fronts. It's pretty good. Now I got the sub in there as well. Not bad. I would say it was a success. And I'm not mad. $60 mod, cheap as. $60 mod. Cheap compared to some speakers that you can buy for bloody 500 bucks. Oh, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> Me. Oops. <laughs>